Hello Coloring Craze family, hope you guys are doing well. So this week's page is from Fragile World by Kobiru Sands and this is the American Boring Beetles page. So for this page I used both my daily pencils and Prismacolors and most of the part it is uh, done with the daily pencils uh, except for the, um, the skull and some of the details on the plants. And for the background I used my uh, June 6 ink pad here. As always, I start with my shadow colors and then go on with my midtones and highlights. And I've done two beetles for you guys uh, so that you can uh, follow along or just see the process. Uh, and then uh, we, move, we will move on to the skull and the background.
this is the part where my video got corrupted and I lost the video I'm so sorry guys but I have included the shades of the colors that I used to color this part of the page uh, and I wanted the background to be like you know a mixed uh, variations of leaf like uh, almost old and very old uh, kind of variation so that it will be a good contrast to the foreground as well so I used uh, the greens and the browns uh, to color this part of the background and later in this video you will see the uh, orange orange families and the brown families on the rest of the part of the leaf so that it will have that uh, nice um, you know variation so as far as the coloring goes for the leaves it's just a random just go with your uh, you know preferences however you want to color the leaves they can be however you want them to be so no perfections needed here so yeah just use your imagination and go with the colors and coloring the skull is done uh, with prisma colors um, so i used my french grays and my warm grays here along with black i shaded in the shadows first and then went along with my other colors
the tree here i wanted it to be a part of the color family that we have already used but also different uh, from the regular greens and browns so i came up with this a red uh, toned uh, you know dark red tone uh, with a brownish uh, undertone to it uh, it turned out so nice and i was so happy with how it turned out and uh, it really stood out uh, you know as a background uh, supporting the foreground as well so after i was done with the tree i went in and colored the wings of the beetle here and while uh, we are doing the beetle um, i just wanted to show you guys a little trick which i will explain it to you in a while in with my lighter shade of French grace uh, for the wings and I wanted it to be a little uh, see-through so I used the red tone which we used for the tree as well as the brown tones which we used for the plant behind it and then you know just smear it a little bit then blend it with the lighter shade you have so that in the so that it will give that you know uh, that see-through look it is not too transparent but it is not too opaque as well so it will have that uh, correct uh, amount of opacity to the wings and I was really happy how it turned out so when you would like to do uh, transparent wings like this this is just a tip that you have uh, you can use the shades which you have used in the background uh, behind the wings um, and just follow in the pattern like as I did here you know if you have to draw a plant just draw it uh, as it is uh, and do it with a very very light pressure and then uh, blend it with the lightest shade you have and that way you will have beautiful transparent not so transparent but uh, less opaque wings and this can be followed for any wings or any transparent uh, material or even fabric you want to uh, try you can use the same method and for the background i used two shades from my june 6 ink pads and as usual i used my finger sponge blender to you know smear the colors uh, behind and I didn't want to go full on uh, I just wanted to uh, have some white spots here and there so that it will have a nice contrast to it and once I was done with that I went in with my darker shade of the brown and then uh, reinforced my shadows so that it will you know it will pop out out of the background and that is pretty much it I hope you guys had fun watching this and please like share and comment if you do and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider subscribing and i will see you all in my next video until then happy coloring bye